Hey honey buns, it is Jen. Welcome to Pretty Chicks Invest, where I help women start their business and turn their skills into dollar bills. Okay, you guys, here is a, here is a question. Okay, first off, we're gonna be talking about the three myths dealing with nonprofit, nonprofit lies. They don't love you like I love you. Slow down, they don't love you like I love you. Let's talk about the lies that people tell about nonprofits, which is why people think they need a nonprofit. Okay? First things first, I'm for profit, majority over nonprofit because you have much more reign over your business. Okay? First lie about a nonprofit is, okay, the nonprofit does not belong to you. When you organize a nonprofit keyword, organize a nonprofit you are saying that this nonprofit belongs to the community I'm organizing it in therefore the nonprofit does not belong to me it belongs to the community okay so when it belongs to the community the community has a right to come into what you've organized okay and remove or add officers okay your executive board your e board Okay, as well as they can come through and audit you at any time. If you are a nonprofit, technically, someone of the community can walk up to you and say, hey, can I see your last minutes? Can I see your articles of incorporation? Okay, people can walk up and ask for those things. Okay, they can ask for your articles of incorporation. They can ask for your nonprofit information. Why? Because they are a part of the community. The nonprofit does not belong to you, myth number one. The nonprofit belongs to you. No, it does not. You've just been the person that has organized a nonprofit in that community. It does not belong to you. The nonprofit belongs to the community. That's myth number one. The nonprofit don't belong to you, boo. It belongs to the community. Myth number two, going into the E board, the executive board board people think you need all these people to be on your executive board in order to establish your nonprofit that is absolutely correct technically and I'm talking about the state of California so please look in your state but in the state of California and check other places you only need two members okay two members in order to start a, and establish an e-board for a nonprofit executive board for your nonprofit Okay? You don't need all these people. You only need two people. And those people need to hold the positions of president, secretary, and treasurer. Here's the thing. The president and the secretary cannot... I mean, the president and the treasurer... Sorry, excuse me. The president and the treasurer cannot be the same thing. Cannot be the same person. Because the president should not have control over the monies. That is what the e-board has control over. So you can literally have two people say it's you and your husband. You guys establish a nonprofit. You be president, he be secretary and treasurer or you or he be president and you be secretary and treasurer. You only need two people to start a nonprofit. Okay? Two people. That's all you need. Now, the third lie that people tell, the big fattest lie that people tell about nonprofits is, okay, you could tell, all nonprofits are exempt, tax exempt. Lie, 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 lie. There are only two types of nonprofits that are absolutely exempt, and even they're not absolutely, they still have to fall into certain guidelines in order to make sure that they can continue to be exempt. One, that is a um, youth organization such as, okay, it, it ain't just any youth organization. This is a Boy Scout. This is a Girl Scout. This is a, um, one of those type of youth programs. They can be nonprofit and exempt. Second is a church, okay? This is a church. They don't go down into which religion, but if you are an established church, you can be a nonprofit that is more than likely to be exempt from taxes, but you still need to pay an established tax of owning a nonprofit, meaning whether you make money or not from your nonprofit and or your business, LLC, S Corp, um, C Corp, all that, there is a standard base amount that every business in the state that you're in 
must pay whether you are exempt or not, nonprofit or not. If you are an established business and a state and you have filed with your secretary of state that you are an operational business and you made no money, you are required to still pay the baseline of what it costs to operate a business in your state. For the state of California, it is approximately $800 that you must pay in order to have your business in good standing with the state of California, whether you make money or not. Okay, so the three myths that I want y'all to fall victim to about this nonprofit. Let's keep it quick. One, you do not own your nonprofit. The profit belongs to the community. You are just the organizer. Okay. Two, you don't need a lot of people in order to start your nonprofit. Your executive board can consist of two people. One person being the secretary and the treasurer, the other person being the president. Okay. Myth number three is that every nonprofit is exempt from taxes that is a lie that is wrong there are only two types of organizations that are nonprofits that can be considered exempt and that is one a church to a established boys and or girls club a youth club such as girl scouts boy scout boy scouts and cub scouts okay so i hope this was helpful Love you guys. Pretty chicks invest. Don't fall for the hype of a nonprofit. Now, if you are going to do a nonprofit for the reasons that it is set up for, okay, in order to serve the community, one, in order to use resources from the government for the community, then I say the nonprofit is the way to go. If that's what you plan to do, I just told you guys my feeling about nonprofit. I prefer for you guys to be non. I prefer for you to be profit than nonprofit. And if you could, okay, if you're so such a business savvy person, you can own a nonprofit and a profit. And you can take your nonprofit. You can take your profit and feed it into your nonprofit. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all. Oh, they don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love.